Hi guys, welcome back to my roadside homestead. In today's video, I would like to share with you how I grow my potatoes using a Dollar Tree laundry basket. Just like many of you, I am a fan of the Dollar Tree gardening supplies because they are so practical and they are very affordable. Before we start planting, I'm going to show you each one of the materials that we need to grow our potatoes in a Dollar Tree laundry basket. I have this wonderful laundry basket from Dollar Tree and then I'm going to use a black trash bag as a uh, lining for my laundry basket so that the soil will not come out and then I will have another liner inside which is this recycled cardboard box and I have three potatoes that grew in my pantry this is just a regular rosette potatoes um, that I bought from the grocery store it took a while for us to consume one bag of potatoes so I have three of them that started growing and so I decided to keep them and plant them we also need a potting mix you can use any brand of potting mix in fact the Dollar Tree has a bag of potting mix for a dollar 25 now this potting mix is a one cubic foot bag that I got from Walmart last November. Yeah, that was November of last year. They put their potting mixes on clearance for $1.50. So I got some. We also need a hand shovel. And I'm going to use a star green bone meal. Um, it's a 1250 and this is a source of phosphorus so that my potatoes will grow big and this one is for organic gardening the first thing that we're gonna do is to prepare our laundry basket for planting I have cut the bottom of the trash bag so that my uh, planter will have a good drainage so if you look at this let me just open it real quick okay, okay. so the bottom of this bag is entirely open I'm gonna put this inside the laundry basket so this is what the bottom would look like it's just open because we don't want water sitting inside our laundry basket planter since that will cause the potatoes to rot now one of the reasons why I uh, will leave the bottom of this basket open um, is because I don't need to move this basket anymore once I plant it in here it stays in here until harvest time it is important to take note that your potatoes will need at least seven to nine hours of direct sunlight um, in this spot I can get at least 10 hours so this would be a good spot for my potatoes This is what the inside of the basket looks like now. So it has a liner inside and then this trash bag is big enough to cover the entire outer part of the laundry basket as well. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to put this cardboard box inside.
I ended up cutting the cardboard box into four smaller sections so I can fit it easily inside the laundry basket. So this one looks good now and then the next thing that we're gonna do is to fill this with our potting mix. I'm gonna start by putting about three to four inches of potting mix inside the laundry basket. And I'll just make sure that the potting mix goes all the way to the bottom of the basket. I'll probably put about five to six inches, but that is fine. I have read that the reset potatoes are indeterminate um, and an indeterminate type of potato will grow roots along its stem, just like an indeterminate tomato because they're in the same family. So next, I'm gonna put some organic bone meal in the potting mix. Phosphorus is good for the development of the bulbs. So I usually put bone meal when I plant potatoes, garlic, onions, and all kinds of tubers. And then we'll just mix them up. You can also put this bone meal on top of the potatoes. It doesn't hurt them. And then next we're going to plant our potatoes. Now uh, make sure that the sprouts are pointing upward so it will be easier for the plant to grow. If you want to grow more plants, you can actually cut your potato, but then you have to um, let that um, sliced portion um, cure for about a week. Well, I don't have a week, so I will just plant them right away. Now we are ready to add some more potting mix on top of our potatoes so we'll just cover this with the potting mix And then now we will just water our newly planted potatoes. Also, I'm going to use these clothespins to secure the sides of my laundry basket planter. forget to like this video so that we can reach some other people who need some ideas on how to grow their own food in an affordable way. Also, if you want to see the progress of my potatoes and the progress in my homestead, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and see you next time!